Question number 32, a uniform bridge of 20 meter long and weight five times 10 to the power of five Newton is supported by two pillars located three meter from each end. If a two times 10 to the power of four Newton car is parked eight meter from one end of the bridge, how much force is applied by the farther pillar from the car? So car is going to be closer to one pillar. Pillar is support by the time. So we are going to draw a bridge. Let me draw a long bridge. This is the bridge. This bridge is 20 meters long. So length of the bridge is 20. I will represent by 20 meters. But this bridge has some weight, five times 10 to the power of five Newton. So because it is uniform, I have to apply gravitational force of this bridge from the center of gravity and central mass, midpoint. From midpoint, I am going to apply a force, which is the force of the gravity of the bridge, five times 10 to the power of five Newton. Because this is midpoint, so the part on the left must be half of the bridge and 10 meters. The part on the right must be 10 meters. And there is there are two pillars. Each pillar is three meters from one end. It says that there are two pillars located three meters from each end. So now I'm going to look at Three, two pillars, one pillar is going to be on the left end, and it's support. Other one is going to be from three meters away from the right end. So let me indicate those distances. Uh, blue color, this distance is three meters, that distance is also three meters, according to question. And a car is parked a meter from one end of the bridge. So you can locate the car on the left, on the on the right. So, but it must be eight meter from the end of the bridge. So I'm going to, this is 10 meters, this length, as you see, this is 10 meters. I'm going to locate the car eight meter away from this end. Eight meters until, I think, in here, eight meters. And there's a car. Let's put a car in here. So this is the car. Of course, this car will apply a force on the bridge. This force is gravitational force of the car, which is weight of the car, two times 10 to the power of four Newton. So two times 10 to the power of four Newton force is applied by the car on the bridge. How much force is applied by the farther pillar from the car? The one on the left is closer. So I'm going to name them. This is the first. This is the second pillar. The one on the left is closer. So I will find the force applied by the farther one and second one. Each pillar, of course, support they, they supports the bridge by some normal force. I'm going to say this is Fn2, and I'm going to say this is Fn1. Question is asking you, farther one, yeah, and Fn2 is the question. Find the force applied by the farther, and yeah, second uh, pillar on the right. Okay, so because I will calculate Fn2, I have to determine the axis of rotation. And we know that axis of rotation, we choose a position which is uh, going to be closer to the, the question, the force which is not asked. So Fn1 is not asked. That's why I am going to choose this point as axis of rotation. Axis. And location of Fn1, axis of rotation. Then, 
Uh, let's check distances for each force is known or not. For two Newton, distances to the extra position must be calculated. And from car to the other end of the bridge, it is eight meter, it's Q1. But I need this distance from car to the axis of rotation. How much is this distance? I need this. I can find it because it's given that this length is three meters. That length is eight meters. So this must be eight minus three, which is five meters. And this length must be five meters because five plus three, five plus three, eight. I got distance for two times 10 to the power of four Newton force. Distance for five times five, 10 to the power of five uh, meters. Newton force is this distance from this force until the first pillar. I need to know that. But I know that from 5 times 10 to the power of 5 until the end of the bridge, it is 10. But this is 3. That side must be 10 minus 3. Yeah, and it's 7 meter is the distance for 5 times 10 to the power of 5 Newton force. What about distance for 2 times 10 to the power of fn2, it is this distance. I need to find it. This total distance is 20. So from one end of the bridge until the other end is 20. 3 meter additional distance on the right. 3 meter additional distance is on the left, which is 6 meter. If I subtract this 6 from 20, I will cal calculate the distance from fn2 to fn1, yani from fn2 to x rotation, which is going to be 20 minus 6, which is 14 meters. And this problem, determining the distance is the hardest thing. The rest are just where the usual method, which we are going to use for calculating the torque of each force. And after that, calculate, the, we apply the rotational equilibrium and find fn2. So let's start calculating for torque of each force. fn1 Torque of N1 is zero because it's acting on axis of rotation. Torque of a car, I will calculate. It produces a round clockwise rotation, so negative. Uh, five times 10 to the power of five also produces a clockwise rotation, it's negative. But torque produced by Fn2 is going to be positive because it causes a counterclockwise rotation. So torque N1 is zero, torque G1, I will say this force is G1, negative. Force is two times 10 to the power of four, multiplied by distance from force to the axis of rotation. We calculated it as, a, pardon, it's the five meters. I'm going to multiply this by five. Angle is 90, all angles are 90, so Sign 90 is one, we don't need to write the angles. So multiply by five. Result is going to be for torque G1. It will be, if you multiply it, it's going to be negative. Two times five is 10, 10 times 10 to the power of four, 10 to the power of five, five. 10 to the power of five, Newton meter. This is torque G1. Continue with torque of five times 10 to the power of five Newton. It also causes, I'm going to say it's torque of G2. It also causes a clockwise uh, rotation negative. Force is five times 10 to the power of, of five Newton, multiplied by distance. From force to the axis of rotation, this distance we calculated as seven meters. I will multiply this by seven. It's going to be torque of G2 is going to be five times same, 35, negative 35 times 10 to the power of five, Newton meter. This is torque of G2. And torque of Fn2. Torque of Fn2. N2, let me write just. It's positive. Force is unknown. Fn2. Distance from force takes rotation. We just got it as 14 meters, this distance. So we will multiply by 14. This is going to be torque of N2. Now there are four forces acting on the bridge and we calculated four torques. 
Then we will add them and make them equal to zero because this bridge is in equilibrium balance. Net torque must be equal to zero. So torque of Fn1 is zero. Torque of G1 is negative 10 to the power of five Newton meters. Torque of G2 is negative 35 times 10 to the power of five Newton. Torque of Fn2 is positive 14 times, which is distance times Fn2, which we will calculate. Sum of them is equal to zero. Then if we use calculator, so this addition is going to be negative 36 times 10 to the power of five is plus 14 times Fn2 is equal to zero. Then we will transfer this negative 34 to the right of the equation. And 14 times Fn2 is going to be 36 times 10 to the power of five. Divide by 14 for simplifying. Divide by 14. So it's going to be Fn2 is going to be, so I will use now calculator which is going to be 2.57. 2.57 times 10 to the power of five Newton is the force applied by the farther pillar. So it's going to be B for this question.